The history of Santa is longer than Kris Kringle's beard, and the Jolly Man in Red has one brand to thank more than any other for his popularization, Coca-Cola. In 1931, the soft drink company hired an illustrator to draw a new version of Saint Nick, similar to the one described in The Night Before Christmas. He would also deliver children presents and had a beard as white as the snow. But why would Coke want to run a Christmas promotion for an icy cold soft drink when 90% of the world's population live in the Northern Hemisphere? Marketing expert from Monash University and Academy of the Social Sciences in Australia fellow, Professor Peter Danaher, says this is exactly why Coca-Cola used Santa in their marketing strategy. Maybe they thought this was a way to try and, you know, um, to uh, spur the sales of Coca-Cola. The fact that it was Coca-Cola that pushed this is more remarkable because Sales of, of um, soft drinks go down in the winter and up in the summer. Santa's story may have begun in the 4th century, in what is now modern-day Turkey. Saint Nicholas has become legendary over the centuries for his acts of kindness and big white beard. Another version of Santa emerged in the early 1800s, when the Dutch portrayed him as a thin man known as Sinterklaas, who protected children and sailors. These acts of kindness could be where our modern day Santa's purpose of gift giving came into light. And it's here where Coke probably hoped for a brand association. Christmas time for most people is quite a happy time. It's all about families getting together. It's about kids being excited about getting gifts, etc. So it's, it's by and large association of a happy time. But Coke isn't the only brand to sell Santa. Over the past century, St. Nick has been used to sell everything from cigarettes to guns. But there's a problem associating Santa with your brand. It's just too big to market. I think now this, the, the, our popular image of Santa is so universal, it's not identified with one single brand anymore. It's more about the bigger picture of what Christmas is about. Coke may have created it, but they don't own it anymore. <laughs>